I'm going to show a racing tip that I learned several years ago and that has helped me greatly and you can do no matter if you have racing tires or just regular old performance tires or all seasons doesn't matter any tire this works and it's super cheap and it's something you can do to really maximize your performance even when you don't have a lot of money so I just refer to it as chalking your tires but I'll show you what that means so essentially you just pick up a thing of sidewalk chalk just like this or if it's wetter weather you can pick up these window crayons or if it's super super wet weather you can actually pick up regular crayons and they work um, but I'll show you what you need to do with them so go up to your tires Ugh, look at this hideous plastic dip job that needs to disappear as soon as possible so just get a thing of chalk I like to get a bright color obviously black is a poor choice but you know whatever it's a multi-pack so show you what you do here so you're gonna take the chalk and basically color on the edge of the tread um, and I'll show you what I mean and also essentially what you want to do is get your wear to the edge of this carrot right up here um, when you're racing and so what you do like I was telling you is you mark on the edge of the tread about three different places at least three if you just do one it may not necessarily be super accurate so you mark up here on the tread just a good patch and then down onto the sidewall a little bit and you're going to continue to do that a few different places on the tread And I'll explain why you're doing this in just a minute. So, the theory behind this is it'll uh, let you know exactly what tire pressure you should be running. Um, and it's pain-free. It's uh, the easiest way to do it. If you go onto a forum and ask, you know, oh, I have a 87 CRX, what tire pressure should I run? You're going to get every answer under the sun, and some of them may or may not be the correct answer for your particular setup. The thing that is important to know is the tire pressure you run may change depending on weather conditions, the compounded tire, and even within the same tread wear of tire, different tires require different tire pressures even with the exact same setup for instance I ran the same exact tires and wheels on my Civic my 96 Civic and then on my CRX and ran completely different tire pressures so it's very individualized to your particular setup at the time and your driving style as well so what you're gonna do is you're gonna chalk it up like I explained and then you're going to do one to two runs of autocross. Um, usually I like to go at least two so you can kind of get the tires a little bit warm and see where you're going to be at. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a couple runs and when you come back inevitably some of this chalk will be worn away. So let's say you came back and the tire or the chalk was worn back about this much. So that means it's not good, you know, you want to be using all your tread, you want to be wearing down to this carrot or pretty close to the edge of the sidewall. If you only wore down to there, it means your tire pressure is too high. So you need to lower your tire pressure, you know, and I would say, you know, start with two or three PSI if it was that much of the tread you're not using. But just kind of go down a little bit until you get to the right pressure, until you're right at that sweet spot, you know, right at the edge, down to the carrot under heavy driving. Now suppose you went out and did that couple runs and you came back and your your chalk was totally gone away down to the edge of the sidewall, you know, to where you're actually running onto the sidewall. That means your tire pressure is too low. You need to bump it up um, because although you want the most tread as you can, making contact with the ground, if you're running onto your sidewall, you you got way too less tire pressure. Way too little. <laughs> But anyhow, so that's just a really quick, easy way you can maximize your vehicle's performance. And you can do that whether you got sticky racing tires or, you know, regular $30 crap tires. 
but if you're not using all your tread um, how do you know you need better tires if you're not even using what you got so that's just a quick and easy way